coral that we saw, I'll show you. We saw what might be evidence of flatworms. See all those spots right there? Down there. There, I'll get out of the way so the camera picks it up. All of those go, yeah. Oh, here, I'll move it so it's easier to see. Okay. Oh, and now, of course, the water is moving. Okay, so those spots. Oh, I got a great idea. Hold on one second. Uh, we were going to place some corals. So whenever I'm doing something in the tank, I take a minute. I'm looking for easy to kill vermidids and easy to kill other pests. And so I pulled this piece of coral out. This is one of the reasons I don't glue things in if I don't have to. And I looked for some vermidids. And then I saw over here, right here in this area, those little white dots, those look like acro eating flatworm bite marks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this out of the water and I'm gonna look for eggs because I don't see anything that looks like eggs to me from this angle. And the eggs are pretty easy to see not on in the water. There might be one or two, I'm sorry, my hands are wet. Those might be bite marks as well. I, I'm not seeing any obvious um, eggs. So, because that looks so bite marky, there might be other things too. I'm going to dose this. Let me save this, buddy. Uh, come here, pal. You don't need to die for me. Um, I'm going to revive this and we'll let it sit for 15 minutes. Then we'll come over with the baster and we'll show you with the baster if anything comes off or not. So, we'll see you in 15 minutes. This is about half a gallon, four cups, four capfuls a gallon. I'm gonna put two capfuls and then one for my, uh, my friends who are no longer with us. And to mix it up, I've got a cup of tank water here that I'm gonna pour in. So now we set the timer for 15 minutes and we come back in 15 minutes. Need to physically remove them because revive doesn't do shit. Well, yes and, um, if I find eggs, I, I can be confirmed. pretty sure that those are bite marks. Now there's a lot of stuff that can look like that. That coral is in an area where it might be getting stung by other corals, it might be moving and getting other issues happening to make things that look like bite marks. So I wanna confirm it. Uh, this is a piece of red planet. I don't have that much anymore. Uh, and I, so I wanna keep it. So if this has got ac acro eating flatworms on it, this is one I'm gonna keep trying to fix. Yeah, if you extrapolate all the bugs that come off of that and they just realize it's a little... Tell us your secrets. Little brittle star. Little serpent star. Little gamorous. I've got a nice curved pointer so I can stick it in. Uh, it's a little too big, so I'm going to use the straight. This is on the other side. And in you go. Oh, I can feel it. And then I twist from side to side and drop my dental tool, which I will get uh, in a, just a second. <laughs> or right now, because that's what we're doing. Uh, what is the easiest way to get that? Ready? That's not gonna work. Nope. Can't get them. Okay, I need another tool. These don't work anymore. Where are my big long ones? Well, that's a terrible thing to say. These work. I have my doubts. Maybe they will. Okay, now I'm going to show you a trick. 
You hang out right there. Now, so I moved the coral and I'm gonna see if I can hook this. Yay! All right, memo to self, order new forceps, or whatever these are called. Although, they worked. This is why I don't throw things away. I've had these laying around for 10 years. It's the third time I've used them. They rust up really quick. Let's look at that vermitted again. Here it is. I think we got him because he was over here mostly. I can't really get any more, but you can see where the shell was. Let's see, uh, put the light over here. Here's another one. These are worse angle. Oh, this one's good. But that one's deep. I'm gonna flip the tool over so I have the pointy end. You can see the webbing. So I don't really have the angle to do what I really wanna do with these guys. That one, that's pretty good. This one, I get you. Oh, this one. These ones all have terrible angles on them, which is why they're still here. Uh, you can try to puncture if you think the thing you're pushing against will handle it. Which it kind of will and kind of won't. So this is a bad angle, but this one, this one popped pretty happy with this one. Yeah, so here's one. I think I'm gonna be able to get it. This is the laser, the blazer. Yeah, look at all that. Oh, here's one. You suck, die. Let me flip this around again. No, no, this is a bad angle. Bad angle. Yeah. These are all hard. These are all laser candidates. So we will laser blaze them. Yeah, these two. Oh, look at this. There we go. Flip around. I think I go in with you. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's good. Twisting motion can break the tube, which is good. You can puncture them and injure them. Oh, look, there's is that one? <coughs> yeah. No, it was just something. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Good. That one was bugging me. I didn't know where it was. Now that whole piece is gone somewhere else. We were on this one, I think. Yeah, no. All right. Oh, look, here's one. That one was good. You see, can you see that? It's split all the way down. <coughs> so I'm sure he will. This one. See, I just wanna, let me see if this will work. This could work. My 
special vermitted tool, which I actually don't know what it's called. <clears throat> Where is it? Light them up. Here? Yeah. We'll find out what this thing is called. Is this one? I can't see from this angle. <coughs> and maybe I can reach this one. Uh -huh. This one here. That's all right. One more here I'm not gonna be able to get. Let me try the tool, the other tool one more time. And then on to other pastures. You don't have to go through the hole Say I popped him off. So he's down there and hopefully someone will get him. You don't have to go through the hole. You just have to break the tube. However you can break the tube. Uh, I like this tool a lot <coughs> because it's uh, it scrapes. So it's been 15 minutes. It's actually been 14 minutes and 37 seconds, but whatever. So now I am going to baste and see if adult flatworms come off. Sure looks like flatworm to me. I am not seeing anything come on. What is that? This? Let me pull that out. That is an acro-eating flower. <laughs> so now I'm going to baste this much more vigorously. Take this guy out. I'm gonna grab my scraper again. So because we see them, I'm just gonna scrape. Ben, can you hold this and light this coral right here? I'm just gonna kind of scrape around this exposed tissue. If there's any eggs, that should crush them. The yeah. eggs are clear. No, the eggs are bright orange. Separated. I'll fix that. Uh, yeah, that's about all I see. So this will be a, an ongoing project for the next few weeks. I also just wanted to point out, this is my vermitted baster. It's my vermitted tripore. The dip I use, Revive. And this container, it's nice and clear. It's the, the only stuff this gets used for is dipping. So that's kind of nice. It's always ready to go. And I don't see any more in there, so I'm gonna glue this back up, put it in the tank. He's convulsing. Oh, here's a, here's two vermitted. It's old ones, I think. I mean, it's sort of beige. It's hard to see. Hard to miss. I mean, easy to miss. Really hard to see on the coral when it's wet. Almost impossible, really. It's in its depth for us. Goes there. see any on this one. That's how it was.
sideways. So now that's in where it was. Quick dip to activate the glue. And it's already held up really well. So back we go into the place you live. There's the, there's the Mahano I remembered. There's a remitted right there. I'll do that fucker. Let me see if I can get him and then we'll spray him to death. Do, 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 do. Sure looks like one, oh, there he is. If he's alive, these are dead ones. Maybe not. These are in a bad place. I can't really get them. That's lasering. Okay, and then we've got a Mahano right here. Sorry, there's, there's some smaller remitteds back here. I can't really get to. And I don't feel like pulling this whole piece of coral out right now. But there's a Mahano right here. So I'm going to soak his ass. It's right here. That should take care of him. Okay, I don't see anybody else right now. All right, let's figure out where those corals go. It's time. Whenever I put my hands into the tank, I try to do a bunch of stuff at once. So I look for vermitids, I uh, look for pests and enemies, and I kill them. And so I've got all these tools. So I knew I was putting corals in the tank. So I was like, oh, let's do a bunch of stuff while we're already in the tank. Uh, it takes a little bit more time than just being quick in and out but I feel like it makes everything a lot easier and cleaner in the long term. Uh, you know, stuff I've been mentally thinking about, uh, you know, especially with remitted. Oh, look, here's a red remitted. Sorry, as we're talking. There's a little red one there. They don't bug me that much, but if I see them and they're easy, right here. one can't tell no that's a coral i like that coral look it's a pally i'm gonna eat it so what does this mean now this means now i have to find homes for those corals uh, and there was a coral i wanted to move that one so oh wow look these things are happy to eat they think that they've gotten food the candy canes are way open so they like something I put in there. Okay, so I've got all this open space. Oh, I gotta put that coral back. Let's do that first. So I'm gonna glue this coral back into place. And to make it easy, I've already got some glue that's dried glue there from before. I'm just getting this under the water so it stays ready to go. There we go. The place where it's going, right there, has no glue on it. So I'm going to prime it with some glue on my finger. Because that'll make it super easy to get that coral to stick. Sorry, I just know the angle here. So I'm literally taking super glue and putting it right on my finger. Careful not to get it blown off because that sucks and I put it on the spot and I just smear it around. So 
So we are primed and ready to go. So we'll get it all down there. Wipe as much as I can off my fingers. My fingies. And I have my other glue. So that, that should be pretty tacky already. It doesn't take very long for it to set up. I take the coral here. Again, glue, glue. Don't be stingy with the glue. I know this goes, I don't know which direction, I think it goes this direction. Yeah. Like that. really fine. There we go. That feels better. You can't really find the position. Ah, maybe that's it. Doesn't want to set up. Okay, we'll try it again. Now I've got a better idea of where it's going and how it's going to fit. It's going right there where the gap was, where the dent was. Come on, there we go. I bumped it. What the hell is going on? It goes like that. Oh, that makes more sense. And now it's stuck there. That's how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go on easy. I think I'm gonna put another piece right there with one of the new corals on it. So I will, I can show you how to do that again in a sexier way. If I All right, this is the way I don't like to do this. But because of where it is, I'm not gonna prime it. All I'm gonna do is put a big gob of glue onto right here, and then try to get it into the place on a little finger of rock that's sticking out. So I'm really not gonna screw around with the amount of glue. And then, okay, good. I can see that the glue has gone where I wanted it to go. And there we go, perfect. So we let that set up and then I can put a frag on top of it. If I was really smart, which I'm not, I would have primed the top of that, but I wasn't thinking far enough ahead. All right, so that's got to set up for a few minutes. All right, so I'm gonna prime this spot to be able to put a frag on, glue on my fingies. It's not quite tacked down as much as I'd like it to be, but I think we'll be all right. Wipe it off, this is what lock line is for. And then I get my corral. I think this coral is called some special coral name. It's actually very cool. It's a digitata. You can put it right like that. Okay. So, 
glue. Unless I put it this way. Is that a better way? Let me try. Sorry. That's pretty good. Let me try that. Uh, okay, now we're in trouble. Yeah, just oh, yeah. Now we're in trouble. So we're gonna do that again. Oh, did I just fuck that up too? No, not too bad. Okay. Okay. So that's why I hate that smear around method. I think it's terrible because it didn't, you can see it didn't really do anything. So what we're gonna do is what I should have done in the first place. Taking the green one out. Remember I said, I know it's gonna be in the way. Put that over there. Now I can get in there and do what I need to do. Right? See, look, it didn't really attach to anything when I put it on. But now, I might be able to get it better attached. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna try to get that on. I'm just gonna look at it. Oh, yeah, see, that should go right there. And I'm gonna reach in. This is an awkward angle. Terrible angle, to tell you the truth. But it should set up rather quickly. It's still wiggling. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Since Dippin' Dots is a quote unquote nice crawl. Oh, maybe right there. What are you thinking? Right here. Yeah? Yeah, it's probably slow grower. Yeah. So let's go in there. All right, so. You filming? Yeah, dip and dots, two things. One, a little bit on, on the coral. Just put it to the side for a second. More on my finger. Paint the area it's going. Right. A little bit more, just a tire roll. All right, now if I've done any, this should stick up pretty quickly. This is not the easiest angle either, but there we go. See? That's that. Now, the, I don't like the way the glue is bulging because I think it looks stupid. I also don't like the angle. I'd like it turned a little more so we can see it. All right? And then we can smear the glue back, texture it, Gets a little bit of a better hold as well if you do this. There you go. So that will not go anywhere now. And in a few days, that glue will not look like glue. Die, Pally, throw a die. So that's where it's going to go. Glue it up. Oh. 
There, that's how that's supposed to go. Don't touch a damn thing. This goes on. At least make this look organic. Sponge now. I got one more freaking piece to put back and then we're done. Put this goddamn piece of coral back and be done with this day. that's going to go much better than I was worried about. Yeah, we're fine there. And I'd like it back a little bit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Done. That's a wreck. Everything's back. Fucking finished. Always takes longer than you want. Uh, and I did see a couple more. Motherfuckers. Stop it! You promised. You promised you would tell me if that was happening. <laughs> You're the worst person in the world. Okay, come here, check it out.